in the now. Hallelujah. Now my question is, where were you? That now this is the time you want to pray as if we may to what your election is today. Where were you? Where were you? That's where you begin from. Hallelujah. Where were you? If you want to pray for Kenya tonight, today, because of peace, you are led. Tell somebody you are led. Hallelujah. Pastor, I want us, uh, we can go live for this one, because a message for Kenya, the whole nation. Hallelujah. I want us to read, Pastor, read for me. Read for me. Um, and even those of you who are watching us, please, uh, just take this message and it will determine everything. About this land. Are we together? Yes. Was few. Read for me John chapter 14, verse 27. John chapter 14, verse 27. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 14, verse 27. Now, read one So, anytime I'm on the altar, you'll be sitting here. So, uh, this uh, don't, don't make up party so that you can sit there and then um, some of the in the place. Good. Yeah. So just know that you are welcome. Anytime I stand, you should have a microphone. John chapter 14, verse 27. It says, First and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. This is the word, the message from Christ. I live with you. Uh -huh. My peace I give to you. And my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives you. Not as the one you want to pray today because the election is on Tuesday. Hallelujah. Can you come again? Peace I live with you. Peace I live with you. My peace. Listen to this. Who had prayed that we receive peace? Nobody had prayed. He's giving us peace even without anybody praying for peace. He says, I leave you with peace. And the kind of peace I leave with you is not that that Laila and Ruto can give because they can have a handshake. Hallelujah. That is not the peace I give you. The peace I give you, even the one cannot give. Can we read it again? I mean, let us internalize on this. Peace, peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. My peace, my peace, I give in you. I give to you. To you. Not as the world gives do. Not as the world gives. Uh -huh. I give to you. I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Say, ukienda, ukienda, how do we call it? Uh, when you go there right now, ata watu wanenda nyumbani na 3,000. Hallelujah. People who don't live in faith, not even by faith, in faith. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 I'm heading somewhere. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to go to First Thessalonians and then I will, we shall make this declaration. I want us to go to First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. First Thessalonians, what the Salonike wa kwanza, tano kwanzia mstari wa tatu. For when, for when they say for when they say peace and safety when people will be saying and safety. I want us to begin uh, uh, when they say peace and safety. safety. People are looking for peace. People are looking for safety. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And yet the peace and safety has already been guaranteed. It's already given. Hallelujah. You know, when we talk about First Thessalonians, we are talking about the after crucifixion writings. Hallelujah. Because First Thessalonians is covering the events after Christ has risen. He has been crucified. He has risen. Hallelujah. So meaning that if Jesus says in John 14, 27, peace I give to you. And the peace I give is not like the peace the world gives. Then it means that Paul understood this much.
much better. And then listen to what he says. Can we read it again? For when they say, when people will be saying peace and safety, safety then sudden destruction comes upon them. Then suddenly destruction will come upon them. As labor pains upon a pregnant as woman. As labor pain upon the pregnant woman. Praise King Jesus. So there is the peace that Kenya is looking for right now. And that's why the world has sent even uh, representatives to come and observe the, the, the observers to come and observe the election process. Praise King Jesus. But now, God has not done that. He did it 2,000 plus years ago. He gave us peace. He said, peace I give unto you. And the peace I give is not like the peace the world gives. And then Paul says, when they will be praying, saying peace and safety, suddenly what comes? Because we don't understand that peace is available. Hallelujah. Listen to me. We don't pray for God to act. We pray because he acted. Hallelujah. We pray because he acted. When Lazarus is dead, Jesus prays, Father, I thank you. He's thanking him because he saw the results. He saw that God had already raised him before the raising. When he, he takes the, the basket of, of loaves and the fish before they multiplied, what happened? He thanks God because he saw the manifestation before the prayer. So, the prayer does not move God. Your prayer, tell somebody, your prayer does not move God. Hallelujah. Maybe we shall need more time on this. Your prayer does not move God. Remember, he says, I am who I am. Hallelujah. I am who I am. So, your prayer will not make God to be, I am who I have become after your prayer. Are you getting it? That's why he says, peace I give. He already gave us peace. So it will be a waste of time to come in church and say, Father, we are praying for peace. We are praying for peace. And if Pastor Owen, I gave you this Bible and you are still saying, please, help me with the Bible. I don't have, and you really have it. It's a matter of understanding that already he gave us peace and we have peace. So what do we do? Today, we just want to thank God because of peace. Only that. What did I say? We thank God because of peace. Because it's already with us. We have heard so many propaganda from pastors. Hallelujah. From bishops, from apostles, from all the biggest titles you can mention. Some of them say uh, 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 one, one politician is in Illuminati. He should not be the president. Because if he becomes president, he is going to to hold the church. He's going to deal with the church. Jesus says that my church that I'm going to build, no gates of hell. Hallelujah. If it is my church, hallelujah, even if we elect a devil worshiper, he has nothing to do with the church. Because he says, and my church, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not overcome it. Don't don't be stupid, electioneer, uh, electorate. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. So if you, it is a, a Wajakoya who becomes the president, let me tell you, even the guests of marijuana shall have no power on this church. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Even if it will be Maure, even if it will be Raila, even if it will be Ruto, choose whoever you want to choose. But you know one thing, as you exercise your democratic right, God is not democratic. Yes. Because when democracy met Jesus Christ, he lost. Amen. When democracy met Jesus, what did he do? He lost. Barnabas won the election. They chose him to be released. And they decided Jesus shall be crucified. Amen. Jesus lost the election. He can say, Amen. Why? He cannot even allow them to see this one. Hallelujah. 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 
umati wa watu umetoka huko mbio so let me tell you whoever becomes the president among the four is a Kenyan he is whether Christian or not even pastor Chunga today if you were to elect me a president I will not rule the nation using the bible I will use the constitution are you getting me the church also understand these things hallelujah so choose whoever you have decided to choose choose anybody the church will not tell people choose this kwa sababu hamtawai niona ni uko na kofia wanda pastor makosa leo kwa hizo ti watu wanaweza kufikiria uko hii ni ya hii lazimio ai are you passing a message pastor when is god here is god why i will not because I lead people who have a freedom to exercise their choices. If you chose it is Ruto, vote for Ruto. If you chose it is Raila, vote for Raila. If you chose it is Wajakoya, vote for Wajakoya. If you chose Nujakuna, if you chose Mwaure, vote for Mwaure. Jews I said pastors are not genuine, church is not genuine. And I said if indeed church is genuine and the lord has spoken to them then the person to vote it will be maure because he's a pastor he's a reverend we will say now we are voting for maure a man of god did you see even those who have never commented on my wall i saw them commented but you know man of god when you hear but it is something to cover the hypocrisy yes hallelujah and the church will need to be genuine there are people who are evil and they became kings and in fact they were the ones who pushed for the rebuilding of the temple king darius king cyrus hallelujah Though they were our core christo our core israeli when israel is in captivity so let me tell you today if it is my church hata tukichagua shetani he has no power because Jesus says and all the gates of hell shall not overcome my church hallelujah Amen. praise king Jesus Amen. the problem is we the church we have not known our God we have not known our God hallelujah God is not involved in politics. God is not involved. I want you to know that. That's why he says I will make you the kings of the priests and the kings. Exodus chapter 19 verse 6. And then he says we are the royal priesthood. Presidential uh, and and these elections are another fire. None of them is on kingship pattern. Because when you talk about kings you are talking about a monarchy a king is not elected kings are born kings are born presidents are elected wewe tanguzaliwe siku nilikuwa na queen elizabeth elizabeth umaisikia king queen elizabeth amelus kura sasa kuna mwingine ametake over no lakini kuna prime minister huko ndo wanapigwa kura who will be the prime minister hallelujah praise king jesus so the presidential system in the world is the human system the system of god is monarchy so we are all kings so happen siku moja nimeuliza swali na biblia inasema pastor kwenda mke mmoja na wana ambao si pastors hallelujah na wana ambao si you remember eh wana ambao si pastors what about the pastors now quite <laughs> now that that question means a lot hallelujah now the bible says we are a royal priesthood so everybody is a priest we are a royal priesthood 
If you are not a royal priesthood, you know I'm gone. If you are a royal priesthood, you know I'm gone. Kana mkemoja, kana mmoja. Wewe umepoisha. Bwana Jesusa. Are you getting it? So when the more we study this one, the more we realize ourselves. Bwana Jesusa. So it does not matter who becomes the president. What matters is that whoever becomes the president is a Kenyan. Is a Kenyan. That's why among the qualifications, the first qualification is that you must be a gay, a Kenyan even before they go for degrees and all other things. You must be a Kenyan. So I'm here to tell you, church, exercise your, uh, your democratic right by voting. Vote whoever you want to vote for. Are we together? Yes. You will never hear me any day telling you, even if my brother is lying, I will never, you will never hear me telling you, vote for somebody. Mm -hmm. And the I will have become a political quack at the altar. Mm -hmm. Praise King Jesus. Amen. And another thing I want to tell you from after this election. Any other election that comes and you don't have a voting card out which you just, you are an antichrist. <laughs> you are an antichrist because today if, if, kama kutakuwa, let me ask you a question. What wana pos mama watu wa mbao meokoka, wana pos mama kuenda kwa siyasa, watu wana kashu wa mangu, kama mangu kanini? Ha mangu kanini? Hallelujah. Wewe kwa sababu likataa kupiga kura kuchagua mtu ambaye anafaa kuchaguliwa, kukichagua watu wa kuleta ushoga, kukichagulia watu wa kuleta homosexuality ama hizo vitu zote na abortion, who did it? Si wale walichagua, ni wewe mwenye au kuchagua. Because you you would have spoken a better language. Bwana Jesusa. But even if watapitisha ushoga, wapitisha abortion, wapitisha hizo vitu zote wapitishe even they say now we have allowed children to marry their mothers. It will not happen in church because the church has its pattern. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we together, support? Yes. So we need to understand ourselves. Hallelujah. Yes. So I'm not going to leave the church to pray for the peace. Because we have already have peace. We are just going to thank God for the peace. Amen. And that is just one minute. Go yes. Mungu. Tunashika hizo visu Hizo visu za kuwa watu Tunaziteka nyala Hizo visu, hizo mishale, hizo mapanga Hizo, hizo mawe, tunaziteka nyala Ndiyo sababu 2007 Churches were banned about 400 churches in Kenya Was, Were they 400 or something? Hallelujah Muna jua tumoja, come on Because watu wali chomwa ndani Makanisa nyali chomwa nikuwa about 400 But hakuna msikiti ya tamoja Yali chomwa, why? Because there is hypocrisy in church. Hallelujah. There is hypocrisy where? In church. Today, what, what are we seeing on, on, on internet and everywhere? Facebook. Why are we seeing? We see pastors and clergy from one region, they say, God has spoken to us and has said, Raila will be the president. Other clergy, other pastor from another region elsewhere, they say, the Lord has just spoken. <laughs> and he has shown us that Ruto uh, yeah. is the president. is the fifth. Yeah. And then another clergy among the electorates, among the candidates, Maure, he says, the Lord called me. And he told me to go and save Kenya. He told me I am the next president. Now my question is, who is a liar here? Is it God or is it pastors? Pastors. Hallelujah. Because God cannot have a double speech. If he says it is Raila, Ata come and be Raila the pastor. Ata say that is true. God has spoken. Amen. Hallelujah. If it's, he says it is Ruto, are you getting on this? Even come and Raila the pastor and be a Muslim or president. Ata kujia kumida na say now listen to me. The Lord has spoken. And he has confirmed that my competitor Ruto is the next president. Yes. Because God has. But the reason why we are seeing different statements from the same. So it is not the same altar. If we was the same altar, it will speak one thing. Hallelujah. 
Now let me tell you what God has spoken about this election. God has spoken this. That this man I'm going to mention will be there. President. Are you ready to hear it? Now listen to me. And listen very good. Hallelujah. Watch me. Hallelujah. Those who are watching. Wake up. This is not prophecy. God has spoken. Hallelujah. God has said that this man is going to be the president of Kenya. How many are standing for the presidency? Wajakoya number two. Umaura number three. Ruto number four. Raila. God has said among the four, one of them will be president. Because there is no miracle that will happen for you to fix the fifth person there to vote for him. So it must be among them. So God has given us power to make choice. Hallelujah. He has given us power to make choice. So don't wait. Don't wait to see me becoming a president. I have not fight. <laughs> Hallelujah. And politics is a game of numbers. Hallelujah. So the president, the next president of Kenya is one among them. That's what God says. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. God has no business to bring vision about who will be the president. God has a vision to tell people, you need to be right with me. Be holy. Be holy. Regardless of who becomes the president, you ought to be holy. Hallelujah. And no man will help you among the four. Hallelujah. Are we together?
So if I become a president, it means I'm governing all the internal and external affairs of Kenya. Because Ababu, our Kenyan politicians are so mediocre, they are mediocre to an extent that who you look at politics, you say, no. It's governance. That's why you need to be qualified. They ask, do you have a degree? Come on, I keep here somewhere. You can fake it. I keep to do one never die. Come on, we'll fake. I come on, give up. Hi. So we need to know this. We are not going to pray for peace. He already gave us, and he is assuring us that the peace I have given you is not like that of the world. Can we stand up just to tell God, thank you for the peace? Just thank you for the peace. Just a minute. Because thank you for peace. Just tell God, thank you. Father, we thank you for this peace. We thank you, Lord, because it has manifested in our neighborhoods, in our villages, in our cities. We thank you, Lord, for this peace. The peace that surpasses human tactics and knowledge in the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you for the peace, Father. Thank you for this peace. The peace that has is residing within us. Father, it shall now take over the whole nation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the peace. Thank you, Lord, for this peace, for your glory. We thank you because it has been manifested and it is commanding every political uh, uh, aspirants and candidates, wherever they are, because it is with us, it is available. I will waste time to say, give us peace. Yet you've told us already that the peace you have given us surpasses any peace that may come from the one. I know GSU cannot give us peace. Oh, Jeshila Kenya cannot give us peace. You already gave us peace because you knew, minus the peace that comes from Christ Jesus, we will not be able to survive the waves of the one. Thank you, Lord, for this peace. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Jesus, we thank you for this peace. We thank you because you're glorious. We thank you because you're mighty. Whoever becomes the president, let them be. Let them become. Because Lord Jesus Christ, it is not you who is going to choose a president. It is Kenyans who are going to choose. For Lord, this is the law of the nation. In the name of our Lord Jesus. We glorify you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we thank you, we thank you for, the peace for the peace that surpasses, that surpasses human, knowledge, human knowledge, that surpasses, that surpasses any, 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 formula any formula that has been set by the world, that has been by the world like handshake like and other negotiations, other negotiations to, bring to bring peace. We say, we say Kenya has peace. Because you have confirmed, you left enough peace for us. The peace that Raila and Ruto cannot give us. The peace that no politician can give us. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Because of safety. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus.